Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're going to be looking at Phantom Lady by Matt Baker and Adam Hughes. Okay, so this is uh, from 1994. It's a collection of Phantom Lady strips from the 40s, illustrated by African-American artist Matt Baker, and that's particularly of note since uh, uh, in the 40s there weren't a lot of African-American cartoonists working on such commercial or prominent projects as Phantom Lady. Um, I guess she started out in the same uh, company as Plastic Man, and um, they even shared a title, and he kind of eclipsed her, so she kind of took a backseat to him, and I'm not sure. Uh, obviously, DC acquired these characters because they have uh, Plastic Man and Phantom Lady. I was surprised to see this came out in 94 and is by, uh, not DC, but by Verotech, um, or Verotic, perhaps. Uh, they were a company in the 90s uh, that specialized in, I want to say, uh, you know, like uh, Frank Frazetta's Death Dealer was one of their comic, their main comic book. Liam Sharp worked for them. So it was kind of like Sword and Sorcery, but also, I guess, like... Um, you know, pulpy stuff like this too. So anyway, this is uh, Adam Hughes doing the cover. This is uh, 1994, so this is fairly early in Adam's career. You can tell uh, just by looking at the style. <clears throat> uh, I feel like uh, the art of Adam's definitely lends itself well to this Phantom Lady book, so I think it's cool that he's basically doing the cover and sort of the title page and like the inside chapter. Um, it's so weird because these are uh, from the 40s and they say restored or whatever, but basically I think they just were scanned and cleaned up as much as possible because the reproduction isn't the greatest and it sort of has that fuzzy quality of perhaps being scanned, but it's still a good fun, um, you know, chance to see all this great art by Matt Baker. He was very um, talented. He had a beautiful, elegant line to his work that um, reminds me a little bit of H.G. Peter, the co-creator of Wonder Woman. And uh, this fandom lady is like a rich socialite who fights crime because she's boring, bored. So uh, many people didn't find that concept uber exciting. It's funny because um, the I notice how everything's drawn kind of small and quiet. I mean, she's punching her out, but it's not like a Kirby punch. She's not like, you know, being blown away or anything. Even when she uses her powers, her black light, which um, pretty nondescriptly just stops people in their tracks. And uh, like even this raging building fire over here is drawn very small and kind of quiet. But the, he has interesting page layout and um, I really like his style. They don't give any credits, except it says by Gregory Page, so I'm assuming that's the guy who wrote it, even though Matt Baker clearly did all the heavy lifting with this beautiful art. I don't know if he's working by himself or if he has an anchor. I'm assuming that he's inking himself, but um, if anyone knows better, perhaps they could comment on that. But I really think it's fun. I've always enjoyed the character of Phantom Lady. I think she's so cool. I love when she was in that Uncle Sam and the Freedom Fighters book. And, you know, she's always been known for her risque costume. And, you know, you can see that in the beginning. And, um, I don't know, chicken or the egg, but very much, uh, or perhaps just a sign of the times, the style is giving me big time, uh, you know, Betty Page vibes. And I thought that was cool. I thought either way would be cool if he took inspiration from Betty Page. This is fun here. I like this old tiny kind of look with the old airplanes and she's jumping out of the plane with a parachute. You know, with the Betty Page influence, uh, Dave Stevens famously was inspired by Betty Page for his character Betty in his comic book uh, to be called Jenny in the Rocketeer movie probably to avoid copyright or something like that. But um, this is pretty risque for the 40s. I don't know. You know, her belly button's covered up. I guess that was a thing. But, um, you know, I, I like that uh, 
you know, drawing these books, uh, they took, I feel like they took the art very seriously with the detail and just the elegance and how well things are drawn and the attention to detail and stuff like that, you know. I think that's like the big joy of comic book art. Like a lot of uh, the current art I'm seeing is using so many, um, you know, tools, uh, you know, like Procreate and whatever for, you know, being able to draw lines without, you know, any effort whatsoever. The computer sort of does it for you. And it has this artificial look and so that kind of makes me appreciate this style of art so much more because it's so organic looking and you can just tell somebody drew every little line every little line was inked and they just don't make art like this anymore do they such great beautiful like pinup splash pages that he did and um so apparently her costume was yellow and green and then they changed, he changed it to this blue and red deal, but obviously she goes back to her yellow and green when she goes to DC. I, um, oh, and she has a big marijuana leaf on her forehead. Who would have thought, Phantom Lady? <clears throat> Maybe she could not make people have hallucinations on top of uh, being in the dark. <laughs> oh, I do entertain myself, don't I? Anyway, you just see all these wacky hijinks. See, I'm assuming that the, I mean, especially from the 40s, the original art has to be like practically non-existent since they weren't into saving original art back then. I know, can you believe it? But anyway, this is just all over the place, by the way. It's like snippets from different issues of her run. And I don't know like what, in, what went into putting this together. Um, but I love the old school comic books and it's really fun to see this. It kind of looks like the same thing is happening over and over again, but, <laughs> but I guess uh, what more can she do, huh? Back in the day. All right, so that was Phantom Lady by Matt Baker and Adam Hughes and the pulp hero from the 40s or whatever, one of the earlier superheroes. Uh, so anyway, hit subscribe, hit like, and thanks for watching, and I'll bring you guys some more content later. All right, take it easy.